Hello and welcome to Pimp Your Brain. Here with me is Dirk Walter. Hello. He is bioinformatician and one important field of uh, bioinformatics is sequence comparison. And that's what he is now um, explaining to me. What is sequence comparison? So when we talk about sequence analysis and sequence comparison, we mean that we look at uh, molecules that consist of a sequence of units, letters. And uh, when uh, the genome has been sequenced of several organisms, it has been said that this is the book of life. So that suggests that we can read in that book. And uh, this analogy actually describes it quite well. However, when we take a conventional text that we can read, uh, we have to imagine that in reality we remove all spaces, we remove any punctuation, and where there were spaces, we introduce random letters. And so we have now this garbled up a mix of letters uh, in a sequential order, and we need to identify and find the actual words. So, so that's what you find when you, when you uh, sequence a genome. You have such a mass of um, uh, letters and you don't know um, what to, how to read it. Uh, correct. Uh, uh, however, in reality, we don't have the 26 letters, but the four letters of uh, the four bases, uh, nucleotides that we have in the genome. And we need to find the words, the genes, uh, the gene fragments and in addition also find what they are doing, what, what their function is. So the meaning of, uh, you must find in, within uh, this, these letters the words itself and the meaning of the words, so what the function is of the genes. Correct, and as we can see this is very difficult because it is hidden and it's not obvious. So what we do is uh, that we look for uh, short fragments of uh, sequences that are overrepresented, that occur very often. Like, like the words and and Yes, uh, th th this is one strategy. However, uh, what we can see already, if, if the word is very short, then even random sequences would contain these words. Uh, a more powerful approach is to uh, compare these sequences uh, to tho those sequences uh, for which we have much richer information. So for, for some organisms we know where the words are because we, we have found... The work has already been done. The work for has example, at uh, Arabidopsis, right? So you have a plant where you, have, where you know all the genes and now you have a new plant and you compare uh, these two gen genomes. So yes, uh, that is what, what is happening. And uh, as you can imagine, when you want to compare two large books, uh, this takes some time. Uh, because uh, it is not clear what chapter is written where yeah, in, this, uh, in these different books. And so bioinformatics has developed many algorithms and very fast algorithms to, to doing that very quickly, to compare books, genomes very quickly and efficiently. And then you can identify those areas that you have seen before in, an, in another organism and then those regions that are similar in your novel organisms, you can copy over the functional annotation to this new gene, uh, to this new genome and uh, its genes. So that's what you do with uh, sequence comparison. Correct, and uh, just uh, if I may say, uh, this analogy of comparing books uh, quite literally is also being done using bioinformatics developed software so that books are compared so if perhaps certain passages have been written somewhere else and someone has someone else has actually authored these these uh, paragraphs and that's how in some phd thesis uh, copied passages have been found isn't it correct uh, this is how uh, the software can be used uh, however uh, hopefully this will not be our main focus of our work mr walter thank you very much and thank you for watching pimp your brain Bye.